In this video, I'm gonna be testing zero net carb keto bread to see what effect it'll have on my blood glucose and ketone levels. I will be using the Keto Mojo blood glucose and ketone meter. Um, so first what I'm gonna do is get a baseline of what my blood sugar and ketone levels are, and then I'm gonna test again in 20 minutes. So let me get started by getting a baseline reading. So first I'm gonna sterilize um, my finger with an alcohol strip. Okay, now I'm going to use my lancet to make a hole here and then remove that first draw of blood as mentioned by a previous viewer. So first I'm gonna be testing my blood glucose. Right now it is a 109, which is a little bit high. Next I'll test my ketone level. So my ketone level here is a 1.2. All right, so now that I'm done eating the keto bread, I'm gonna wait 20 minutes and test again. All right, so roughly 20 minutes have passed, so now I'm gonna test again. So my blood glucose is now reading 117. So that did go up uh, a little bit. And my ketone level is now at a 1.1. So now I'm gonna wait another 20 minutes and test again to see uh, what the results are. All right, so another 20 minutes have passed, so I'm gonna test again, testing my blood glucose first. All right, so my blood glucose did come in at a 147, so that's quite a big jump from a zero net carb bread. Next, I'm gonna test my ketone levels. My ketone level is now a 0.8, so I'm dr slowly dropping out of ketosis now. So I'm gonna wait another 20 minutes and then test again. 20 more minutes have passed, so I'm ready to do another test. Let's see if it's uh, on a downtrend or if my blood sugar is still continuing to rise. All right, so now my blood sugar is at 165. Ketone level is a 0.4, so I'm still continuing to go out of ketosis. All right, 20 more minutes have passed, so I'm about to test again to see if anything's changed, to see if my ketones are still going down or if it's went into reverse, so. Blood glucose is now 136, so it looks like it's starting to go back down. Ketone level is still at a 0.4, so uh, that stopped dropping. So I guess what I'll do now is just wait a full hour, do another test to see if I return back to where I started. Um, so I'll see you in one hour. Okay, so it's been roughly an hour and 20 minutes. So let's see if enough time has went by for my levels to return to normal. All right, so my blood glucose is now 127, and ketone reading a 0.6. Okay, in conclusion, zero net carb bread did in fact raise my blood sugar more than I thought it would. Uh, another thing to note is that um, if you looked at each test that I did, there was a GKI level listed uh, below each test, and according to the Keto Mojo, and on google.com, once your GKI level reaches above a nine, uh, weight loss pretty much comes to a complete slowdown or stop. So uh, if you're wondering you know, why your diet might not be going so well eating certain zero net carb foods, uh, this could be a good indicator. Um, also, I did rename my channel to Human Guinea Pig because I did think it would be easier to remember. 
and I will be posting that video I mentioned earlier, um, my first video comparing erythritol to regular table sugar. All right, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.